In today's example, we're going to add dimensions to a multi-view drawing, and we are going to use the baseline style uh, of dimensioning. And remember, that's the first thing we have to decide is which style you're going to uh, use for dimensioning. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get started. What I went ahead and wrote on the right-hand margin already is the height, width, and depth, and the colors in which I'm going to use to identify them and to actually draw them on our multi-view drawing. Now remember, on your multi-view drawing, uh, typically it's not going to be done in colors. Um, I'm showing you for the purpose of trying to identify and help you visualize the differences uh, between height, width, and depth, and where those are found on a multi-view drawing. Okay, so let's get started. So first we're going to dimension height. Um, in some of our previous uh, presentations, we talked about height being shown on an isometric drawing going up and down, okay? So knowing that, you'll start to realize that you're going to see height both on this front view of the drawing and then also on that side view or the right side view, okay? So that means we need to choose either the front or right side view on our drawing to actually identify and dimension out the height. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and choose actually the front view and the reason why I'm choosing the front is because it's the view that actually shows the most detail. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. For baseline, remember you choose the baseline and for height we're measuring from the bottom to the top so I'm going to draw my baseline which is going to be the bottom. Now I'm going to move my mouse up to try to find the next edge that I need to stop at, the next feature. And it looks like right here, so I'm going to make a little space from that feature and then start drawing another extension line. Now I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to draw in my arrows, indicating my dimension and where I'm starting and stopping the measurement. And now I need to make sure to measure out how far that is. So it's one, two, three, four, five, and six. So it's six, and based on, remember, our scale that's up here, one grid is equal to one inch, so it's gonna be six inches, okay? We're doing baseline, so I need to go back to the baseline again, extend it a little bit further, because we haven't quite gotten all the way to the top, and as I bring my mouse, or my pencil or pen, whatever you're using, should be really pencil if you're doing it by hand, um, you'll notice the next feature and edge I need to stop at is the one all the way at the top, okay? So I'm gonna draw an extension line at the top, and now again, I'm gonna draw my arrows to indicate where I'm starting and stopping my dimension, but leave a space in the middle so I can insert the dimension, which is eight inches, okay? And that's because I counted the number of grids, all right? And that actually concludes our dimensions for the height. I don't have any other feature that I need to stop at to dimension the height of, okay? And you can always double check and verify by looking at that right side view. And if you notice, this is the only edge and that's the only edge. And at the bottom, this is the only edge. I don't have any other edges, okay? And those line up to the ones on the other side, okay? So height is done. That's it. You don't even, remember, you don't need this dimension right here, the dimension of two. And the reason for that is you can do math on the other side. You can do eight minus six and that will give you two. Okay, so you do not need this dimension over here. All you need are those two of six and eight inches. Okay, so for height, we are done. Now we're gonna go ahead and go and draw in the width dimensions. Now remember on our isometric, the width dimensions go here. So if I even trace over like the edges that are going to be going in the width direction, I'm kind of highlighting them over here and this. Oops, that wasn't a good drawing. There we go. Uh, do that up a little bit. There we go. And you're going to see this edge right here. You're going to see this long edge over here. Okay. And I'll even see this. All those are going in the width direction, okay? So those edges can be seen on the front view and also the top view. So either one you choose is fine. I'm going to go ahead and continue with doing it on my front view um, just because, again, I feel like that's the view that shows the most about the feature. Uh, and I'm going to start on the left-hand side because width measures from left to right. So there's my extension line of where I'm starting. Here's the first edge I need to stop at. 
Um, that is two inches. I can't fit my arrows on the inside, so I'm going to go ahead and put them on the outside, which is perfectly fine as long as it's neatly done. Okay. Uh, and that arrow wasn't really the neatly done. There we go. I'll do that again. Here's one edge. Here's the next edge. And then I'm going to draw in two inches. And then I'll put one arrow and then the next arrow. Okay. Now I'm going to extend that starting point because, again, it's my baseline, right? And now I need to find the next edge, which is this right here. So I'll make a little space, then continue to draw my extension line. And if I measure and count those out, that should be there's two, four, six, and seven. So I'll put seven inches in the middle, draw my dimension arrows to point at where I'm starting and stopping the measurement. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and extend that baseline again. Why? Because I need to keep going. There's still this final edge over here. So I'm going to draw an extension line for this final edge. It's two more than seven, so it's going to be nine inches in the middle. Draw my dimension arrows in. Again, nice and neat. You notice the values in the middle. Um, the arrows go all the way up to the extension line. Um, again, it's best if you use a ruler. Uh, I don't have the access to it right now, so um, just know that it's best to, to use a ruler to keep it nice and neat, okay? So with we are actually done. The next step we need to do and next dimension we need to actually dimension out is for depth. Now depth, if I look at the drawing here, isometric, depth, remember, goes from the front to the back, okay? That is our depth. And if you notice, that's going to be this edge, this edge, this edge right here, this edge right there. All those lines that are going the same direction as depth. Okay. And if you notice, those edges can be found invisible on the top view, but also on that right side view if I'm looking there. So that means you can draw those dimensions on either one. Okay. Not both, though. That'd be considered overdimensioning. So I'm going to choose to do it on the top view just because, again, that top view shows a little bit more about the feature than the right side view or more about the object. I'm going to start down here, bring the extension line all the way out. I don't want to put my dimension underneath this little triangle in here. That's not an appropriate spot for it. Okay. So instead, make sure to extend your extension line all the way out. And I'm going to extend that first edge. That distance is four inches. Draw my dimension arrows, okay? And then I'm gonna extend the very last edge. Measured out, that six inches. And I'm gonna draw in my dimension arrows from here to here. And there you go. Believe it or not, you are actually done. We have done height, width, and depth of all of these uh, dimensions of all of the features. Um, you don't need any more than this. Some people will say, well, there's no drawing or no dimensions on that right side view. That's okay. As long as you dimension to all the features and dimension both the size and location, then that's all you need.